a do not in a do state. And the only thing that I use to campaign to get to this house is my name, my pedigree, and my integrity. Some may have gotten here because they had resources. I got here because I had made a name. I came here hoping to build on that name, not to diminish it, not to distort it, and not to do anything that would be unexpected of somebody of my background. Number two, sir, I am a senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I am not a senator of the North, nor am I a senator of the South. I am a Nigeria senator. These rules we agreed on in the first two, three sittings, that we will operate irrespective of accident or birthplace, and even the factor of religion or any of those primordial sentiment. Because that is the only way a senior, Niger as a privileged Nigerians who sit on this Senate, I, I don't know anyone here who started this work on the floor of this Senate. We all have our various background, which our people must have seen and find us worthy of being elected. I want to plead that we must recognize we have a duty to uphold the finest standard of a legislature and defend the integrity of each and every one of us. As I listen to your prayers every day, Mr. Senior President, we talk about showing love to one another. Doing those things that will promote the peace, happiness, and unity of our great country. And yet, I am here wondering whether we have exactly come here to do everything that will promote hatred, everything that will promote division, everything that will remind me of my accident or bad play for which I had no vote, I had no contribution. That was the exclusive decision of the God Almighty. It should neither be used to favor me nor should it be used to disfavor me. So I ask sir, that after listening to everything, my plea is this. We've already been stripped naked in the market. And closing the door or opening the windows, we cannot now wrap it as if it has not been seen. The minimal requirement is for my brother, who I respect very much on account of being vocal, I like vocal people. He has energy, I don't have enough energy. But I have seen him make very valuable contributions in the past on the floor of the Senate. And I think he can still remedy that. Having agreed that some things went wrong. Because the question you have put, Mr. President, is how much, what was the figure in the bill, in the appropriation bill that was, that was approved? And somebody answered 28 billion, a trillion. Therefore, any suggestion that it was 25 is simply a lie. The problem of trying to defend one lie is that you have to speak to more lies in order to protect and defend one lie. I think we'll be uh, Senator Ningi, who I respect a lot, has a duty even to his own children that he will not be the man who will be in the reporting in the front pages of newspapers and electronic media all over the world and say something that he found out is not true. There is nothing wrong in making a mistake but become a problem when you are not able to find the courage to own up to your mistake. Particularly when in terms of balance of interest, you would rather clean up what is dirty than to pretend that it is clean. So I want to plead to each and every one of us that let's allow Nigi, having now read everything, and even my comrade, um, Senator no, Kau, who posted something he said it was for Northern governors. Even not, uh, sorry, Northern senators. Even he knows that Northern senators deserve to be told the truth. Northern senators did not form association for the spreading of falsehood. It is meant to promote the unity of the North and justice and fairness, which can only be found on the basis of facts and truth. So if all of these errors have taken place, and all of us have become suspect in the Nigeria bar of public opinion. 
the way to go, in my view, is for both of them to re uh, recount what they have said and to say that and to say that they didn't say so or if they said so that they made a mistake of the head not of the heart and ask that they be forgiven because it is already in the market you can't predict it never happened i associate myself completely with the very very valuable and articulate presentation of uh, senator sunny i believe of uh, of niger state and several other very valuable contributions but let us remember each time we try to destroy any one of us we are destroying all of us because if one lack integrity and we are far to associate with anyone who like integrity they say it is bed of the same feathers that flock together may that not be our portion mr president this matter needs to be treated in a manner that will restore the confidence of the nigeria people in the institution of the national assembly thank you mr president